So think back, if you will. Back to the year 2001, specifically the winter of that year. I was only four years old, right? Very, very small. My parents were very protective, very loving. And so as you'd imagine, I would have that one jacket that just has my arms and legs out like that. Couldn't move at all. And recently in that year, these families moved in to the neighborhood. And one of them was hosting this neighborhood party for everyone to get to know each other. When we found out that they were hosting it, our hospitality, since we had lived there for quite a while before that, we said, we have some stuff we could help set up. And so we head over, we meet the family, you know, business as usual, and find out the uh, dad of the family, his name's Eric, professional surfer, freaking awesome, right? And the wife, her name's Shelly, beach lifeguard, that's how they met. And they have two kids, Ryan and Kyle, ages five and six. So they're off at school with my brother. My parents are, or my parents and I are over there helping to set up. And when I arrived there, I found out they have a dog <clears throat> that's half mastiff, half husky, things fucking huge. <laughs> and it's very, very nice, don't get me wrong. And um, we were in the backyard helping set up barbecues and tables and what have you. And so my mom goes to the bathroom while uh, my dad and Eric are off at my place getting the table and Shelly's with them to find out the best way to lift it up and move it because, you know, I wouldn't think logically. And so here I am alone in the backyard, huge ass dog, backs to the pool. I'm petting the thing, you know, as best as I can with my arms and legs as restrained as they are. And you know how dogs are when they're getting pet, they're having a good time. They just kind of, you know, lean over, fall on their side, they like pet my stomach. Thing knocks my ass right into the pool. And I'm four years old, I can't swim, I can't move anyway even if I could. And so my jacket's getting waterlogged. I'm absolutely terrified at this point because I can't move. And I start sinking. And when I'm sinking, I start yelling because I'm even more afraid. And before I know it, I can't exhale anymore, so I inhale water. Bad idea. My eyelids start to get heavy real fast. I'm unconscious now. But it's not like normal unconsciousness. Normally, or usually when you pass out, depends on how you're uh, knocked out, you usually wake up instantly without any memory of what happened. For me, though, it was kind of like a dream. It was very, very weird. It was like I was sitting across from a table with myself and we were playing Pokemon because that's what I always did when I was four. And I, uh, I remember myself saying, what are you doing here? You're not ready yet. And so I looked down at my screen and says, Pikachu used Thundershock and <laughs> clear. <laughs> and I opened my eyes and apparently like there were a bunch of uh, safety equipment or something, I don't even remember that well, I was four years old, and <laughs> it turns out I was dead for 14 seconds, my heart completely stopped, and I'm looking at my parents, and they have this look of, like, fear and hopelessness, and then something clicks in their mind that says, I'm okay, and it just makes an instant transition from pure fright to actual, like, full-on joy. It was actually incredible. And I remember two or three long-term things came from that day. One of them was my parents were much more protective of me, didn't let me near a pool for like another two or three years. Um, <laughs> another one was uh, a physical aspect, now I have a wonky heartbeat. It's um, known as arrhythmia. And the third one was, I really don't understand the concept of YOLO anymore. <laughs> so, as a result, I had to say, not the best, not the worst day of my life, but easily the strangest. Thank you.